Uh, my name is Pascal Hergé. I'm the uh, technical leader in the Symfinity Group. I work for CAE Montreal. Um, I've been with uh, the company for 15 years. And uh, uh, 15 years ago, the uh, only possibility for training on uh, air, uh, for, for training airline pilots, apart from training uh, directly on the uh, airplanes themselves, were full flight simulators. These days, with the advance of technology, the uh, advance of uh, computing power, uh, it's now possible to have a fully immersed um, training device uh, simply running off a desktop. Uh, what we're looking at here is the Symfinity IPT, the Integrated Procedures Trainer. What we're showing today is an Airbus 320. Uh, what you see is a uh, series of different sized LCDs. These are all touch screens, so the student can go and interact directly with the simulation and interact directly with the graphics. Um, all of these screens are linked together to the simulation so that when the student goes and performs a procedure, uh, they have the same reaction as they would in the full flight and as they would in the actual airplane. Uh, to enhance the training, we've added uh, what are known as uh, tactile panels. So simulated panels that have the touch and feel as per the real aircraft so that the students get used to uh, touching the different buttons and also what's important in these devices is the aspect ratio is as per the aircraft. So the students build what's called muscle memory so that their hands realize where the panel is before their eyes can get to it. Uh, we also enhance the training with uh, what are known as active schematics. So schematics that are again linked to the simulation so that whenever an action is performed inside the cockpit, you can see exactly what happens um, inside the different systems. Any airline manufacturer that produces new aircraft wants to have simulations uh, of their aircraft produced before the actual aircrafts are delivered. Um, because what the airlines want uh, is to have trained pilots as soon as they receive the new aircrafts. That means that the simulation and the simulators must be created and up and running before the actual aircraft is delivered to the launch customer. So our simulation is based on the uh, OEM data and so it has a high fidelity and it responds exactly as per the aircraft will. So the challenge there for us is that we have to create uh, these devices based on the data provided by the aircraft manufacturers even before the airplane itself will actually do its first flight. Well, actually, the level of fidelity is, uh, is the same throughout the low-level devices uh, up to the full flight. Uh, at CAE, nothing is re-engineered to fit on, uh, on low-level devices. We use the same high-fidelity level D simulation, whether it's on the full flight or desktop trainers, so that way the commonality between all devices is uh, followed uh, from low-level devices, from CBTs to desktop trainers to IPTs to FTDs to full flights. How the student interacts with the simulation is different. Um, there's also, of course, different components which are activated or deactivated. For example, any motion simulation is, of course, deactivated in this type of device here, since it's not necessary. Visual um, simulation is deactivated on desktop trainers since it's it's not required. But the, for example, the electrical system is the same simulation running off a desktop simulator or running off the full flight. So if we're looking at uh, a 737 uh, aircraft, although the aircraft itself has been around for decades, uh, Boeing is continuously uh, evolving and modifying this aircraft. So CAE, as a company, we have to follow um, what the aircraft manufacturers are doing and continuously uh, evolve and modify our simulation to match the airplanes that are in flight today. To stay up to date, subscribe to Healthy Sims YouTube channel and visit hulldale.com and healthysimulation.com.